Shalom, shalom. This is Elder Nathania with Swords of the Spirit Ministries. And I do want to say that this is a joyful day according to Psalms, the 18th chapter in the 23rd verse. It says, this is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And today I just want to do a quick shorty. Uh, I want to talk about some things that that uh, our people is so merry and so happy about. But I want you to understand that in the in the making of these traditional holidays that has nothing to do with the Most High Yahweh. Um, one scripture we do know for sure, and one day that we know for sure, that one word we know for sure deals with this one day, and that's the day Mary. Everybody walks around uh, coming up this month, next month, December, saying Merry Christmas, Merry Xmas, Merry this, Merry that. Okay, and uh, and uh, we know that the the scripture tells us to stay away from Merry Christmas, and I'm gonna it's gonna be one of the first uh, scriptures I will start with here this morning, and it's gonna be found in the book of Jeremiah, and in the book of Jeremiah chapter ten, starting with verse number uh, one, he says here. Ye, the word which the Lord spaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathens, and be not dismayed at the signs of the heathens, I mean of heavens, for the heathens are dismayed at them. For the custom of the people are vain, for one cutteth a tree out of the forest, and the work of the hands of a workman with an axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails that it, that, and they fasten it, shalakim. They fasten it with nails and with hammers, and it move not. Okay, and I want to I want to pause right there because it's very important that see I know when I was coming up uh, back in the '60s in the in the in the '70s and things like this here and the celebrating of uh, of Christmas had nothing to do with no uh, artificial trees and nothing like that. They actually go and get real trees that was built up on wood stands. All praises. And with these wood stands, uh, uh, when they get loose, you take a hammer and you take another nail and you, and you start tapping them and tightening them up to make, to make them where the tree will stand straight up, okay? And it was called uh, uh, Christmas trees. And as you notice, it says they deck it with silver and with gold, okay? So that they move not, okay? And, 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 and that's what we do today. We, we, we deck this tree with uh, silver and gold and other little colors and ornaments we put on these trees. And, and we celebrate this one day out of the year that put us in debt for life, okay? And uh, it's called Merry Christmas. It is the only day out of the year where this word Mary, M-E-R-R-Y, is used, okay? It's not used in no other so-called holiday, but that one holiday. But my thing is, is, is have anybody ever looked up the history? I'm not talking about you Israelites who do your history and all that. There. I'm not talking about you brothers. I'm talking, sisters, I'm talking about 
the brothers and sisters of Israel that have not even looked up what this means. The so-called other nations that don't even know what this means, okay? When a sorceress, they don't know what this stuff means. You know what I'm saying? They just think it's Christ's birthday and it has nothing to do with Christ. It has everything to do with Tammuz. Tammuz is the one who was born on, on, on December the 25th, okay? It was not Christ. The Bible said Christ was born around the Passover. The Passover, okay? So when we get to thinking about the Passover, that's in the, what's called the the original New Year's, okay? Which is around March and somewhere March or April in that area when it was kind of warm outside. It was not a cold, cold uh, 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 day that a baby's born in a manger, okay? That just, that just that is not gonna be feasible, okay? Now, uh, uh, when we look at this word and look at the uh, study of uh, uh, Christmas, we, it's, it's, it's so, uh, it's so, uh, disgrace, disgracing. It's so nasty. It is so abominable to where who would want to even say that is something merry about this day. Okay. We got to think about it. Merry Christmas. The Bible says don't even be like the heathens. Don't even celebrate this day. And yet you run around and you say Merry Christmas. Why? Because this day is so, is so defiled. Okay? And, and the Bible tells us that the persons that came up with this day is from the lineage of Esau. And I want to get another quick scripture on that. And that's Hebrews, Hebrews uh, 12. And 16. And I, I want you to see what, what the Bible says about this here. Now, if if the Edomites is the ones who come up with all these days, okay? And let's see what the Bible is saying to all the other people, okay? This is a, a Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator, fornicator, or profane person as Esau. Okay? Some of us Israelites miss this and right here. It's just not talking about Esau, but anybody who is, let's go through it again, a fornicator or a profane person. Okay? As Esau who for one more so of meat sold his birthright. So if you are even act like Esau, you even being like Esau, you even doing the things that Esau do, what is one of the things Esau do? He celebrates Christmas and say how merry it is. How merry is it when you go and look up the research behind it, go and look up the, uh, the ancient history of it and find out that men was giving away slaves of, of, of for Christmas and, and not only that but men were sleeping with other men and then they'll go home and beat up their wives and stuff and, may, and force them to have sex with them because their wives didn't want to have sex with them because they, they know what they have been doing with other men you know what I'm saying and so these women they would beat them up and, and so that they can keep their lineage going that's the only reason why they wanted a woman okay so that's the reason why the Bible says, if there be any profane and defiled person such as Esau, if you even live in any type of his lifestyle, you are a doomed individual. Ain't nothing I can say. Christmas is a part of that. But God do warn you not to even celebrate this day. But it's the only day in the time of year that is called Mary. The word Mary is in front of it, Merry Christmas. Okay, none of your other holidays have Mary in front of it, but they do have something in front of it, which is called happy. And that's the reason why I'm going to title this today is Mary happy. Be not very happy, but be Mary happy. 
That's what they want you to do, okay? And we're going to look at these other holidays as dealing with and dealing with uh, uh, happy, being happy, being happy. And I want to know how can you already see that some things is so, and I'm just giving you a tip of the iceberg. Go look Christmas up for yourself. Go look at, this is some homework for you. Go look it up for yourself and see what Winter Sorceress is all about. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Go look it up yourself. <laughs> you ain't got to sit there and talking about, he don't know what he's talking about. And he, he, you ain't got to do all that. Just go look it up for yourself and see for yourself what Merry Christmas is about. It's nothing to be merry about. I'm merry that this is the day that the Lord has made and I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Every day that he, I wake up, I'm merry. I'm very happy. Okay? All right? So we're going to go on to the next word. Okay? Happy. Oh, something else. I should like it. Something else. I'll give you another little hint. Why you take the name Santa, which is worshipped, you have cookies for him, and you say it's supposed to be Christ's birthday, but I don't hear you saying you got cookies and milk for Christ on his birthday, but I hear you got cookies and, 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 uh, and uh, milk for Sa Santa, right? And out of the same five letters, you get the word Satan out of it. All they did was did a little word play and moved a couple of letters around. And who are you really worshiping? Satan. That's who you are worshiping. Okay? Because you got to stop and think about when we was coming up as, as poor little black kids in our neighborhoods. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and we grew up around the Greenwood area. Our houses didn't have uh, chimneys in it so that the fat, jolly, red cheek man can come down our fireplace and deliver us toys. We see our mothers and fathers going out working all the time and then going and buying us toys and giving another devil credit. Hmm? This is how I grew up. So if you take the word Satan and Santa, they're the same word with the letters turned around, okay? Instead of S-A-N, which is start off Santa, it's S-A-T, okay? Then A-N, okay, is, is uh, A-T. So they just moved a few letters around so that you would be worshiping Satan on a world. Okay? And and it doesn't matter whether you know or not. It's who you giving your praise to. Same way with if you don't know what God's name is and what Yahweh's, I mean Jesus' name is, who are you praying to? What name is you using? Because there was no letter J when Christ was walking on the earth. So his name couldn't have been Jesus. And in the book of Philippians chapter 2, it says, For God has given him a name which is above every name. It's a whole lot of Jesus is on this planet. So Jesus and Jesus is, 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 is the same name. Okay? It's the same name. So how can that name be above all names up on earth? But have you ever met anybody? By the name of Yahweh If you have, can you please introduce him to me? Because he will be coming my way soon. All praises. So I want to throw that out there so y'all can do a little research and go find out what Christmas is all about. And I guarantee you, if you have any inkling of righteousness in your soul, okay? I guarantee you, you will not celebrate this day ever again, ever again. So now let's get on and, and let's look up uh, and see what uh, both of these words meaning. Notice out of the holidays 
uh, uh, only one have Mary in front of it, and that's that's Merry Christmas. So we can move on to the next words, which is happy. The word which is happy. Happy is in front of all the rest of these holidays. All right? And we're going to break some of them down, and let's see what makes them so happy. Okay? Now, uh, the first one we're going to deal with is uh, Happy New Year's. Okay? Happy New Year's. Now, the people who created the word uh, I mean, this uh, this this so-called holiday, New Year's, is right after Christmas. It's still yet in the middle of the winter. Middle of the winter. Uh, can anybody tell me how can that be a new year when everything around it is dead in the in the in the in, the, in that time of the year in January? January is still in the in the middle of the winter. How can something that everything is so dead be so happy? What's so happy about New Year's? Okay? When we, like I said before, we know that New Year's is in the middle of March and, and, and April. And when things start to blossom and little trees and stuff had a little pretty flowers all over them. And flowers start coming up out the ground and things like this here. Those things makes you happy. Not no bare skin tree ain't got nothing on it. Everything is dead around it. Froze to, froze to, to death. You know what I'm saying? So how can you be happy for that day? Then the next day uh, comes around is, I think it, it, it is either... Martin Luther King's birthday or something like that in January, right? Martin Luther King, what's so happy about a man who stood for civil rights? For us to be treated like human beings that we were. And for him to be shot down and killed. Why celebrate that? Why celebrate uh, 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 this man being killed trying to do something right. But if we go back to what the scripture said, the scripture said that no man should redeem us. Why? Because Christ is coming back to redeem us from the hands of our enemies according to Luke 1 and 68 on down. Okay? It tells us who is coming to redeem us as a people and redeeming us from the same people who have created all of this mess, okay? Then we're going to move on and we're going to go with, with Valentine's Day. Oh, ain't that so sweet? You got a little white, a little pink baby floating around with little wings on his little back and got a bow and arrow and got a heart on the end of it and feathers on the other end and he shoots it into your heart and you fall in love. Let me tell you something. If anybody, a little pink baby or a little brown skinned baby or, 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 or any other baby or grown person or anyone else take an arrow and shoot it through your heart, you know the end results. You know what the end results is. And believe me, ain't nothing happy about it. So it ain't no such a thing as happy Valentine's Day. And furthermore, you should be giving your loved ones love all year round. Not just on no one particular day. All right. Uh, or another another day that uh, they they celebrate. Happy April Fool's Day. Now people can play jokes, and that's why the Bible tells us that we shouldn't give in to coarse joking. Okay, because coarse joking can cause people to get seriously hurt, if not violently hurt. And I mean, when I say violently hurt, that means kill. Telling lies and ain't there to stop them lies before they unfold, okay? And what ends up happening is people get hurt behind these lies. 
people uh, uh, get killed behind these lies. And this is something that we shouldn't be doing. It's no April nothing day. Okay? Okay? Uh, because, because when you stop and look at it, uh, April Fool's Day is nothing but a day of a lie. You you lying all day long. And this is what these people do. They, they, they come up with all these days that go against everything God say don't do. Okay? God say don't, don't celebrate birthdays. And what they want to do December the 25th, they want to celebrate Christ's birthday. And it's not even his birthday. It goes to show you how illiterate our people are. Really, seriously. They are really illiterate. And when I say our people, I'm talking about the so-called Native Americans, the so-called Mexicans, and the so-called uh, uh, blacks, okay? These are the people I'm talking to immediately in this area. Uh, if any people from South America, anywhere, is hearing this message, it's for you too or anyone else around the world. Let's just say this short little video go, go viral, okay? Whoever is the Israelites and wherever the Israelites is, and I pray that it reach every last one of them, okay? And it changed their hearts. It changed their mind and their soul, what I'm bringing out here today. Now, praise it, because it's very important that our people wake up and stop doing this sick stuff. And, 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 and number, your number one source of not being able to have understanding of these things is you have to get out of the Christian church because who runs the Christian church? Your pastor might be standing up there as a so-called black man or a so-called Mexican man, but guess what? He still got a massa over him, okay? And it's very important that we understand these things. We got to understand that these things is, is meant for our destruction and not for our good. But us that has repented and got back to the law, statutes, and commandments and keeping God's laws, keeping his statutes, keeping his commandments, we're the ones who are waking up into this truth and knowing that we should not celebrate none of these things. Okay? Because why? Because I don't have to bow down and worship a tree. I bow down and worship Yahweh, and I do so by the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, okay? That's what I do. Now, I ain't talking about nobody else. I'm talking about what Nathaniel, Elder Nathaniel does, all right? All praises. Let's get on to some more of these uh, wicked holidays. So we got April Fool. Then we got St. Patrick's Day. Say, oh, St. Patrick. Y'all know St. Patrick. To where if you ain't wearing green, somebody pinched you. Well, one thing I found out about Negroes, they don't know how to pinch without, without, without turn off half of your arm. Or, or, or is a car. Same thing. You know what I'm saying? When they pinch, they, they want to take off half your arm or your muscles or something. You know what I'm saying? And then to make a, make a brother go get his party and, 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 and end up doing something to a brother. Okay? So if you don't ain't wearing green, you get pinched. I mean, what's the, what, what is, what do they, what's the meaning of that? Can, can anybody explain? Make it make sense to me. Matter of fact, <laughs> make it make sense to yourself. Why are you celebrating these days? Uh, moving on, uh, Easter. Now, <laughs> I know why the bunny was celebrating Easter, which Easter, it comes around the time of Passover, which is the original New Year's, okay? But Easter, I'm still trying to figure out if y'all saying it's the death, the burial, it's the resurrection of Christ. Why is it so important that you have Easter eggs, Easter basket, Easter bunny, and a brand new Easter dress or Easter suit? If it's about Christ, why is it all about these things? Because I'm going to tell you why it's about these things. 
Because when you stop and you take and you they take the little eggs and they hide the little eggs and stuff, okay, it's always the rabbit hiding the eggs. Well, here's the only sense that I can make out of this thing, and maybe it might help you. The reason why it's always the rabbit hiding the eggs because he didn't want nobody to know he was having an affair with the chicken. Some of y'all get that in the morning. So some of y'all will get that in the morning. It's very, <clears throat> shall I get, it's very important that we understand that a lot of this stuff in these holidays is nonsense. It is still, what do all this stuff have? But it's for the children. What's for the children? Did the Bible tell us to train up children in the way that they should go? And when they get older, they will not depart from it? Did not the Bible say that? But instead, we training up our children to lie to their children, to their children, to their children's children, and on and on and on. And it never stops. And it becomes a generational lie. That's exactly what it becomes. We don't care what the other people do. I'm talking about what we, as God's chosen people, do. That's very important that we get an understanding of these so-called happy holidays. We just happen to be on Happy Easter right now, okay? At which ain't nothing happy about it because why? Have a lie ever, have you ever found out about the truth about a lie and you was happy about it? Come on now. No, the next, the next scripture, I mean, the next uh, holiday I want to go to after that one is, uh, I think it's a Mother's Day, right? Mother Day, where we celebrate our mother. We get take a day out of the year to celebrate mama. Well, if you love your mama, shouldn't you be celebrating her each and every day? But don't do it above God or above Christ because Christ said anyone who loves mother, father, sister, brother more than he loves me, huh, should be damned. It is what it is. That's what the scriptures say. That's what the scriptures say. Okay? So, but it's okay to, to give mothers a little honor and give fathers a little honor, but how do we do that? By obeying our mothers and father. For this is the first commandment given with a promise. It's given with a promise, and that's how we honor them. By obeying them. Not talking back to them, not being sarcastic with them. And the kids nowadays, it's terrible. Why? Because we are letting somebody else raise our children up. Even though they with us every day, somebody else is raising them up. We got them on, on, on the phone all day long. We got them uh, uh, going to these Edomite schools and, and, and do all this different stuff. And this is what has happened to us because we did not obey and honor our father, Yahweh. That's the reason why. Okay? You got single parents and women. You got single parents and men. And, and, and we all are trying to find our way when our way is right in front of us. Which is Yahweh Basim and Masayak Yahweh Shai. That's where it is. And we need to get back into these laws, statutes, and commandments and keep them. We're going to talk about the high holy days in a minute. Okay? And I'm going to give you a, a few of those too that, 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 that you should be saying happy to. Okay? Uh, the next one is, uh, that was uh, Mother's Day and Father's Day. Uh, Another one is Happy Labor Day. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm tired of labor. Labor is killing this old body. It ain't nothing happy about it. It's like I don't care how much money you make. Your labor's still hard. 
All because of who? Our forefather Adam. He chose to follow his wife. In results, Labor Day. It's nothing to celebrate no, celebrate no Labor Day with me. <laughs> I'm, I'm just being honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Make a nice little piece of change, but still yet, look at what my body got to go through to get it. Come on, I'm six, getting ready to be 66 years old. Ain't nothing happy about me still going out here and doing this hard labor. Nothing. Nothing happy about it. Our praises, ain't nothing happy about it. So, so, so uh, in the midst of everything that I go through, in the midst of everything I go through, I, uh, I uh, try my best to, to just endure and let the most high guide me and lead me to where I need to be. All right? After labor, I'm going to go on through a lot of these here. Labor Day is Veterans Day. Many of our people has gotten killed in the United States uh, military. Okay? We, a lot of our people got, definitely a lot of them got killed in Vietnam for no reason at all. Because we weren't even supposed to be in Vietnam. But the way these people want to rule other people's country and and, and dictate and lie and, 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 and make up stuff about these other countries so that they can go over there and take over they, these people's country. It is wicked. And for any soldier got pride on his heart to go to somebody else's country because your wicked president has told you to go over into that country and kill up innocent babies and children, you are got to be sick in your head. I would be like Muhammad Ali. I'd go to prison before I let you talk me into going killing up innocent babies and, and children for no reason at all. But it's going to be some babies that I'm going to be happy about uh, 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 according to what the Bible say when I see them get killed. I'm going to be very happy about these babies here. And I'm, I'm going to bring out the scripture so you can go research it yourself and see what the Bible say about it. See what the Bible say about it. All right. So then, and then after, after, after Veterans Day um, is happy. Let's see. Oh, President Day. Happy President Day. Happy President Day. They even got what's called Happy Election Day. All right? <sighs> happy Valentine's Day and all these different happies. And ain't none of them happy. Now, here we're dealing with Happy happy uh, Veterans Day. I mean, not Veterans Day, but Happy uh, Shalakia. President's Day. Yeah, that's where we at. The... And I have not found not one president in the United States that ever served as president has made me happy. Obama was a lie. They tried to make a, a, a Camilla a lie. Talking about they black. Ain't nothing black about Obama. At least he don't claim he's an African. They don't care. They don't, they don't care nothing about us. That's the reason why he got in there and did what he did. I supposed to be happy because he legalized homosexuality, and the Bible and the Bible is against homosexuality. All through it, it talks about this wickedness and how people that do such acts they become reprobate. And I don't know if you ever seen the word reprobate. The word reprobate means that God takes His spirit from you. When you do such act, that's the reason why homosexuals can't come and repent. That's the reason why they won't come and repent because they think what they're doing is righteous. Why? Because they don't have God's spirit in them. It's ridiculous the stuff that we fall for as a nation of people, and that nation is Israel. Yasharala. It's sad. 
is sick. Uh, I want to try to move on because, like I said, I want to keep this a short a little uh, uh, message. I don't want to try to take it too far. Um, uh, then after President's Day come, how can something so ghostly, goblinous, Frankensteinish, uh, uh, a murderous, uh, 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 celebrate nothing but murderous? Okay? Halloween. Happy Halloween. And they try their best to dress it up in the church in all kind of ways, trunk or tree, uh, 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 fall festival, and all these old different, it's all the same stuff. It's all the same stuff. And that's the reason why it's important that we understand Jeremiah 10. <laughs> you got to understand Jeremiah 10 and 1. All right? This here is the most disgusting sickness thing. Look, there is so, there's probably 18 different uh, gods. Out of these 18 gods, one of them belonged to us. And that God that belonged to us created the other gods for the other 17 nations. Those gods in the other 17 nations is all rolled up together now in with the Roman Catholic Church who worships and celebrate every deity that our God has created for these other nations. So that they can use all these gods and all these religions and all these traditions and all this mess to come against this one nation. So you got 17 nations coming against one nation using all the witchcraft that they can to try to keep us in sin. And the Bible tells us in the book, I think it's in the book of... Uh, 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 is it in the book of Judah? One of the books that's in the Apocrypha, it talks about how, how if we are in sin, this, this, this general tells the king to, to go against Israel because they, God won't defend them. But I warn you, if these people are keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, I beg you, king, stay away from them, leave them alone. Or uh, we'll become a reproach. We'll come a, an embarrassment in front of all the other nations. So, so you don't want to deal with this nation. But all these nations come against us to make us see that we keep all this old wickedness. That our people just love to keep keeping. All right. Now we did President's Day. We did Halloween. Then they even got Election Day. They had election day. Boy, they got election. Happy election day. Give you a little badge, a little sticker you stick on your little shirt and on your little blouse. Say, happy election day or I voted today. You people, you know, you know, especially you, uh, 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 so-called Negroes and so-called Mexicans, especially you two. All you ever hear them talk about when it comes to elections is Mexican votes and black votes. They open up the border to let you in. After the borders open up, you come in, they push you all out. Wake up and see what they're doing to you. Now niggas is fighting over, over uh, 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 because of a fake, a fake black person who we know she wasn't black. Everybody knows that this woman, her daddy is an Edomite. Everybody know this. And y'all sitting around trying to deceive us and to show you what they even think about us. They didn't give no 
top uh, educated black people uh, 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 to get up and speak for this white woman. They gave us Cardi B, Beyonce, all these strippers and pole dancers and Come on, man. Is that what they think about us? Is that what they really think about us? And you niggas crying because niggas didn't go vote for this wicked slut. And I'm going to say it like it is. Because we didn't go vote for her? Us Israelites shouldn't be voting no way. So this happy Happy election day shouldn't even be for us. We shouldn't be voting no way. And Nick got, got our women talking about uh, uh, they hate their own men because they voted for Trump. They shouldn't be voting anyway. And you shouldn't either, women. The men shouldn't be voting. The women shouldn't be voting. The children shouldn't be voting. Shouldn't nobody be voting for none of these wicked people. All these people, people wicked. I remember George Bush made a statement. Boy, and I'll never forget that statement. George Bush said, said, uh, said, uh, you fool me once. He's not, no, he said, there's an old saying down in, down in Tennessee. And I, and I know it's in Texas. He said, you can fool me once. He said, but you won't get the chance to fool me the second time. And that's the reason why y'all got us with Obama. But you wasn't finna get us with this trick. You know what I'm saying? And the Israelites didn't even have to cast not one vote and you still didn't trick the people with it. Your fall is coming, Esau. You're gonna have to pay back for every evil that you have done, okay? So you got happy election day. And then it says, uh, then comes this day. Happy Thanksgiving Day. Which is today, as I'm making this video. Today, Happy Thanksgiving Day. What's so happy about it? When you sit up and you slaughtered the Native Americans and I got a I got a I got a new thing for you today. Israel for all you didn't know what I'm gonna bring up next is 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 is, 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 is all praises to Yahweh. But for you that don't know I'ma show you the wickedness of these people that comes up with these days. You got this is when they slaughtered so many so-called Native Americans. Okay? What is it to be happy about? They killed our people. They slaughtered our people. They took little babies and cut them out the womb and dashed them up against stones and all kind of evil. In Florida, they took our babies and fed them to alligators. You people follow these people's holidays when God says, I give you peace and peace that surpasses all your understanding if you keep your heart and your mind stayed up on me. But you listen to them instead of God. They tell you God's commandments is done away with. You say, I don't have to keep the commandments. Can't nobody keep the commandments. Well, then, if that's so, why did Christ say, be perfect for the Father in heaven is perfect. He wouldn't give us a commandment that we could not do. There's no way, because he love us. Christ loved his people. If Christ knew when he was coming back, when he was going to return, he would tell us 
so that we will make sure that his brothers and sisters got their lives together before he returned back to this place. Because he's not coming back as a little wee lamb. He's coming back like a lion that is a god. That's what he's coming back as. And we running around here celebrating, eating turkey, dressing, cranberry sauce, that nasty crap anyway, and all this different stuff. And as they sit down and 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 and, 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 and I mean sit down and literally and literally uh slaughtered our people after slaughtering our people and giving thanks for it. And here we is doing the same thing. If there be any fornicator, profane person such as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. What meat was that he sold his birthright for? <laughs> Your ancestors, my ancestors. Okay? Slaughtered our people. Made shoes out of skin of ours. Stuffed they couch pillows with African hair. Some of y'all just don't do no history. So if you don't, uh, if you don't uh, do no history, you don't know no history. That's the reason why you so ready to forgive them at everything that they do. Everything they do, you ready to forgive them. But your own brother, who he tells you to forgive seven times 70, you ready to kill him. Our people's destroyed. And why are they destroyed? Because they have lack of knowledge. History is knowledge. The Bible is your history book. Everything in it, it tells you about, okay? Uh... Then the next day, immediately after that, it's called Black Friday that we know of, right? Black Friday, when you do the history of Black Friday, that's when they used to sell, give a, 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 a sale of slaves on sale. They would have price. You get, a, you get a nigga for half price. You get a wet back for half price. You can get a savage for half price. That's what they tell you. But if you look on your calendar today, tomorrow, tomorrow is called man, I American Heritage Shilaki Native American Heritage Day Tomorrow is Day after Thanksgiving Which is Black Friday I thought But yet is Native American Heritage Day Native American Heritage Day Day. Happy Black Friday Heritage Day. Did that, 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 that make it sound better for you? No, it's the slaughtering of our people. Now here they telling you what they have done and how they done it. Look at your calendars. You got these smartphones and everything. It'll pop right up on your smart calendar. Right after Thanksgiving is Native American Heritage Day. I thought it was Black Friday. Everybody know the history of Black Friday. Now they're trying to change the history of Black Friday now when they used to sell slaves to, now they're still using the same thing where they used to sell black Native Americans and kill them and slaughter them. These people 
are the are wicked. Think it's in the book. I'm going to go to it right fast. In the book of Malachi. And I'm getting ready to throw down these few scriptures. And then, uh, uh, then I'm going to close. I'm going to go to the book of Malachi chapter 1. And I'm going to show you what the Bible calls these people. Malachi. Chapter 1. And uh, verse, because uh, I wasn't even thinking about bringing up this uh, verse, but it hit me when I when I brought up this. Okay, here's what the, here's what the Lord said. I'm gonna start in verse four. Where is Edom? Edom is the subject. See it. We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord, you should build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border. Who is them? Esau. Who is Esau? The red man. Who is the red man? The one that call himself the red neck, the one that's born is 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 is, is red red as can be. The one that 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 has a a, a pinkish look to itself, which is a a a, 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 a derivative cover color of red. This is who he's talking about. What people is that? You still confuse me. Where well, there's nobody white, and the damn sure ain't nobody black on this earth. But the people that call themselves white are this people. Okay? And he, and he called them, he said, and, and the Lord called them the border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. Who the Lord will hate forever. He will always hate Esau until he exterminate Esau. Y'all can run around here with that Christianity crap if you want to. I'm sorry. The Bible says what it says. Okay? It says what it says. Yes, God hates a people whom he had indignation for forever. And he called these people the border of wickedness. That's the reason why our people run around doing all this wickedness. That's the reason why. And uh, uh, and then uh, uh, we're gonna go to uh, to deal with the, uh, the the Bible verses they're dealing with. I'm just got a few of them out of here. Uh, uh, dealing with Mary is Proverbs uh, Proverbs uh, 15. Let me see Proverbs 15 and 13. Let's read and see what that says. Proverbs 15. Wow. Hands are so slippery. 15. 13. And it reads. The book of Proverbs chapter 15 verse 13. It says. A merry heart. Maketh a cheerful countenance. But. By sorrow of the heart, the spirit is broken. The heart of him that has understanding seeketh knowledge, but the mouth of fools feedeth on foolishness. All the days of the affliction are evil, but he that is of a merry heart had a continual feast. Okay, so we can, it's, a merry heart brings forth feasts. It don't bring about bills and, and all this worrying about, about how I'm going to pay for all this Christmas crap that I bought. 
that I'm paying for 10 years down the line. And then the very next year, Christmas roll around again. Here I am paying for another 10 years down the line. The, you get the cycle. It never stops. It never stops. In so many words, think about who's on every dollar bill. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. On every dollar bill is a so-called white man. These people love the pictures of their forefathers. That's the reason why they want they money. Hello, somebody. They want they money. All right? The other one is Ecclesi uh, Ecclesiastes 9 and, and uh, 7. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 7. And it reads, Go thy way, eat thy bread with joy, and drink the wine with merry. With, with a merry heart. For God now accepted thy works. See, it's when you give your works unto the most high. That's mean why when Christ come back, he's going to say, get away from me for I, I have not known you. He that breaketh God's commandments. Okay. And he come back to you. He get away from. It's, it's because you ain't got no works. But works don't save no back. But the Bible said different. Huh? Did not, did not uh, 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 Paul say this one word? Did he not make this one statement? He said, uh, show me your faith without no works, and I show you my faith by my works. It takes works, people. We have let these people deceive us and lie to us about so many different things. I got to make it fast because I got uh, uh, three more minutes. Um, I don't went past a short. And I try not to. Jeremiah 30 and 9. Jeremiah 30 and 9. And it reads. It's the book of Jeremiah chapter 30. And verse 9. But they shall serve the Lord. Their Yahweh. And David their king. Whom I will rise up. Unto them, raise up to them. So that's the stuff to be merry about. Now, happy, happy. <laughs> you know what happy is, don't you? Let's go see what happiness is. Let's go to the book of Baruch. Somebody say Baruch. <laughs> I love it. I love it. We'll go to the book of Baruch. Book of Baruch. Chapter 4. My, uh, uh, I think the reason why I love this uh, uh, um, book so much is my, in the verse, is because my uh, grandson, the baby boy, he autographed it and made sure, Peppa, you read this all the time. You know what I'm saying? This is the same one that down, uh, made him a song and downloaded his, uh, his music on it where he's singing and uploaded it to YouTube. I'm trying to still figure out how that happened that day. All right, the book of Baruch, chapter four, and we're gonna start at verse number three. Verse number three reads, give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. O Israel, happy, are we for things that are pleasing to Yahweh God are made known unto us. You see that? See that? Then he says, be of good cheer. My people, the memorial of Israel. These are the things we should be happy for. For the things that are pleasing to Yahweh. The things that is pleasing to God. And uh, uh, the next verse, <laughs> I told you this here was, is in the Bible. Uh, we're going to go to Psalms chapter uh, 137. 
This is right in the Bible. If you, if a lot of a lot of you sisters that might hear this, a lot of you mothers that you know y'all y'all have that little caring heart um, for for the children. So what about the children? Remember when we were children? All right, let's see what the Most High say. What's gonna make us happy? Psalms one thirty seven. Wow. Look like somebody stole my Psalm 137. Psalm 137 starting at verse number 7 through its entirety. It said, remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. Remember who Edom is. Remember the border of wickedness. The red people. All right? Remember the children of Edom. In the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it, meaning tear it down, tear it down. In AD 70, yeah, they was right there. Even to the foundations thereof, O daughter of Babylon, who is Babylon? Babylon is America, Britain, just say the EU, all right? All right, we we'll just cut it like that, cut through the chase. Uh, uh, o daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. Now, this is scripture. Happy shall ye be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. For everything they have done to us, we're going to be happy when we reward, reward it back to them. And watch this here. Remember I told you about how they slaughtered our little children and dashed them up against the stone? Let's see what the Most High said. Happy shall ye be that take it their little ones. And dash it, thy little ones, against the stone. This is scripture. If you want to read it for yourself again, uh, just go back and listen to the video. And you'll get exactly the scriptures that uh, you need to hear. And uh, like I said, I didn't give you a whole bunch of uh, scriptures. But I did uh, uh, talk a lot about uh, the happy, happy holidays and happy this and happy that. And Merry Christmas. Okay? So, so, uh, like I say again, I'm Elder Nathan Yah with Sword of Spirit Ministries, and we uh, just want to say, Kwam Yasharala, Kwam Yasharala, Kwam Yasharala, meaning rise Israel, rise Israel, rise Israel, all praises.